YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be comparing all of the police customization game passes for ERLC. But before this video does start, if you could do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing, it'll really help the channel out. But without further ado, let's get comparing. So for the price of 400, 300, and 750, which I think this was decreased by 50 Robux, I'm not too entirely sure. Same with the police customization and detective pass. I don't know. But... They all come with different items. So including the uniform, battering ram, armored truck, G36C rifle, a sniper, and the SWAT vehicle texture. That is about five items that the SWAT game pass gives you for about 800 Robux. With the police customization game pass, this also lists five items that it gives. But there's pl plenty more such as light bars. You now have the dual spotlights. And there's so much more that this police customization game pass gives. But for the average person looking at this, you might only think it's five items. Now the Detective Game Pass has four items that it currently, but I think about now there's about five items uh, that it gives. Now we're going to go through three sections of this video. Um, let's first start off with public servers. Now I think, in my opinion, the best value for public servers is probably the police customization game pass because you get to, um, like, you get to be whatever cop you want, pretty much. The detective pass is cool, but role playing as a detective, if you care about role playing, isn't ideal for public servers. Same with SWAT. The only thing that SWAT would really do is uh, if you're trying to like stop bank robberies or if you're trying to go the realistic route. I think patrolling as SWAT, like I said um, in a previous video or so, patrolling as SWAT will probably get you the best value because of like the armor, the gun, uh, the gear. I think they all have benefits for you. The only downside to public servers is that the detective game pass is actually cosmetic for the most part. Um, and I think if you're mainly playing public servers and you don't care about roleplay, I don't think the detective game pass is for you. So I think... Overall, if you're here to just play public servers, I think the SWAT game pass is the best option. Uh, you should get the police customization game pass if you plan on rotating between the two or playing PD. But if you really just care about stopping criminals, getting money uh, and XP, I think the SWAT game pass is the best um, to get. In my own personal opinion, I would get the SWAT game pass, especially if I was just playing public servers. Now let's switch to roleplay servers. Now, depending on what server you're going to be in, a lot of servers now have custom uh, items. So I think the only thing you would be able to use the SWAT team game pass for in a public server is to access a Bearcat or one of the vehicles with deliveries on it. But some servers don't even use deliveries. So I think the only thing you'd be able to use in a roleplay server would be the Bearcat, maybe the weapons and the battering ram. Um, and I think that's about it, honestly, because you might have to get your own, you might have to get your own uniform in these roleplay servers. Though the police customization game pass will give you everything. If you want to take off your light bar, you can. If you want to add side runners, you can. If you want to do dual spotlights, you can. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just naming a few things off the top of my head. I think definitely for roleplay servers, the police customization game pass is the best to get. As far as detectives, I think they can go on equal as well because i mean you can role play as a detective in a public server i mean private server the only problem is that there's not going to be a lot of role play with that um you know there's going to be less role play with detective or swat rather than anything else but i think if you're playing private server and you don't have met much robux i think the police customization game pass is for you i mean if you have a bit of extra robux i'd recommend buying the detective and police customization game pass if you solely plan on playing private servers and if you have enough buy the SWAT game pass like that's all I'm saying now I know the big question is which ones would I buy which ones have the best value so if I were to say the best value I think the best value is the police customization game pass being updated literally every few updates the police customization game pass just has way too much to offer especially for 400 robux I mean comparing it to the detective pass the police customization has way more options for being 100 robux more. In my opinion, the SWAT Game Pass is like 800 Robux for a lot of games. So, I mean, it's a fair price, but I feel like there should be at least a few more features for the SWAT team. So, if you had to go with my opinion, the best uh, thing to get is probably the Police Customization Game Pass. 
And for those of you who have a lot of Robux, I'd recommend getting the Police Customization Game Pass first, then the Detective Game Pass, then the SWAT Team Game Pass last. Honestly, I'd say the thing I use most is probably the Customization Game Pass, which is why I rate it the first out of the three to get um, with value because the Customization Game Pass, you just cannot go wrong with it. Um, I use it in almost every single police roleplay that I do. I cannot say the same for the Detective Game Pass. If anything, I think I use the Detective Game Pass the least. Even though it's the cheapest, I think um, there's still better options, especially if you're planning on roleplaying certain things. Now, don't just take my word for it and buy these uh, game passes in order. Remember, this is really opinion-based. Uh, depending on what you like role-playing, if you like SWAT, buy the SWAT game pass. If you like to change your police car up, buy the customization game pass and so on. Uh, remember, this is just opinion-based and me reviewing these game passes. Because I do get loads of comments asking which game pass is the best to buy. And out of the police game passes, I do think it's the customization one. And I do plan to keep on making videos from what people request. This was a highly requested video. If you do have any video ideas, suggestions, drop them down below in the comments. Though if you did enjoy this, hit the like button and subscribe. We are on the road to 60,000 subscribers. I want to do that before July. So if we can do that, that would be amazing. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.